What day is it? It's Vintage Guitar Magazine Day. Today we are looking at Guitar for the Practicing Musician, 1987. February 1987 to be exact. Warren D. Martini and Jakey Lee on the cover. Let's dig in. All right, digging right in. Oh, I've never seen Jake with a red Charvel. Oh, wait a minute. Did they switch guitars or something? Because that has a Floyd on it, too. That's probably the only time that guitar has ever made an appearance. Oh, nice boss line up here. This is a cool conversation. Steve Morse talking with Eric Johnson. Steve says, when you're playing fast, would you say that basically every note you're playing would make sense if you played it at halftime? Okay, now this is Eric Johnson talking. Probably not. There's probably a lot of rubbish in there, and I just speed it up. Hopefully nobody notices. Now, get out of town, because I have slowed Eric's stuff down, way down, because I can't play it that fast. And it's beautiful. It's so melodic. Talk about two giants, man. Holdsworth. All right, Tony McAlpine in the listening room. Number one is Eric Clapton in the Blues Breaker album. I think they put that same one in almost every one I've seen. Oh, number three. Stars from Here and Aid. That is so wacky. That, it's like the heavy metal uh, We Are the World. Vivian Campbell is playing rhythm. Yeah, well, Vivian's awesome. Everyone in that video is awesome. But when you put them all together, it's a hot mess disaster. You're in love from Rat. Oh, that's a that's a good riff. Let's take a look at this one. this American music oh it's perfect pitch look how creepy this picture is man they could not have picked a creepier picture it's like Chester molester and his buddy yikes oh here we go so this is ultimate sin and undercover dancing isn't it called dancing undercover so these dudes were like buddies. Jake was the, like the vet and Warren was like the new kid. Did you ever play together in a band? We were never in a band, but they were roommates for a while when they were in San Diego. So they were talking about when you start off as a lead player and you don't learn how to play rhythms. Jake says, Warren got thrown into the fire when he joined a band. I remember going to see him for leads. Everybody would sit there and go, wow. Then he would start playing rhythms, and all of a sudden, nothing happened. He was playing bass lines with the bassist and throwing in a lick every once in a while. I remember when Eddie Van Halen's first album came out. Ed said that he was embarrassed to show Ain't Talking About Love to the band because he thought it was so stupid and simple. And that's Jake's favorite song on there. And it holds up, man. That's a song that you play for kids, older dudes, and like, yes, that's a, that's a killer riff. They ask about a distinct sound. I think both those guys, I could pick them out a million miles away. Jake is very distinctive, and Warren, too. I mean, nobody sounds like Warren. Amir Derak. Isn't he from Rough Cut? 
I think he was in uh, Orgy. He's had a long journey. Do you have a favorite sound on the record? Warren says, I like the sound on Waiting for Darkness. Jake says, that was one of the last songs we did on Bark of the Moon. For Thank God for the Bomb, I like the lead sound. And in Rat Albums, he says, I love the sound of Lay It Down. Well, yeah, it's one of the best ever. Wait, how did we get to Cinderella? What did I, what did I miss here? Oh, there's like a... Ah, I appreciate Cinderella. I just don't, like, love Cinderella. Tom is a great songwriter. They're, it's a good band. It's a good rock band. I just, I think that, like, that's not it. Let me try that again. Nope. You don't know. Like that kind of uh, vocal. That doesn't do it for me. It works in ACDC. I'm in on ACDC, and somehow it just sounds right. But but still, you know, I, I like Cinderella. I'll listen to that when I catch it on the Hair Nation or something like that. Oh, and we're back to Jake and Warren. Warren says, I played a bit more of the blues thing right before I joined Rat. And I guess he got a little speedy. But he is like one of the best bluesy, inf heavily bluesy influenced hard rock guys. Metal guys. I don't know. They're kind of more like hard rock. Is Was Rick Derringer part of Steely Dan? I actually didn't know that. Hmm. I guess they had so many guys coming in and out. Who's to say? Reeling in the ears. Oh, hey. Hubba hubba. What's up? Carlos. You know, he's another guy. I, I appreciate the Carlos, but I don't really listen to him. Roscoe Guitars. They were around a little while in the 80s. That is sort of hideous, but, you know. Guys are trying. The Bangles. I, dude... Hazy Shade of Winter. The tone on that is awesome. I wonder if... The, and it's a great riff. I wonder if... The, it sounds like a Mesa Boogie to me. It's like really smooth. And like really nicely recorded. Oh, let's see. Does she talk about it? That's Paul. Carvin's. Oh, it could be a Carvin. Because Carvin has that smooth Mesa Boogie thing too. Yeah. All right. They're talking about some albums here. Trilogy by Ingve, a more rounded gush of Swedish hysterics. Trilogy Sweet is a letdown. Its hyper rock Bach and Stomp to Glory final movement is impressive, but ultimately trivial. Uh, you know, Trilogy isn't one of the albums I listen to m too much, but I do like You Don't Remember and I'll Never Forget. I like the Ingve pop songs, strangely. Triumph, I, n I never really. Oh, and Metal Fatigue from Alan Holdsworth. That's a killer album. I mean, it's weird, like, poetry jazz, but it's probably the most listenable Holdsworth album. Smooth, jazzy pop with these insane solos. Oh, Mind's Eye from Vinnie Moore. Another phenom struts his metallic stuff. I like Vinnie Moore, but, boy, you can't really listen to the albums, those old albums, more than, like, one song, maybe two songs if you're really in a mood. Just not much, like, groove to them. They're so straight. And then you end in the charts. There you go. So that's it. Some of these old magazines have a little more or less meat on the bone, but I have a huge pile of magazines, so I'm just going to keep digging through them, and even if they're kind of short videos. Hope you like them. See you guys later. Thanks.